Good morning, everyone. I'm using Jamie Sawyer's Out of Hand tarot deck <laughs> today. Uh, and today is February 18th, 2023, of course, Saturday. Hope you guys are, hope you got it to a good start, a good weekend, or a, a good start to the weekend. <laughs> yesterday on Friday right so but anyway today we still have well the moon's um, in Aquarius but by this afternoon by about 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, Pacific time the moon will join up with Mercury and so a, an exact you know conjunction at 2 p.m. And we also have, ooh, so the Four of Cups. We also have uh, Saturn and the Sun is, you know, the Sun's at that last degree of Aquarius. And we'll move into Pisces uh, by 2.30, 2.35 p.m. Uh, today. But just to, you know, reiterate that we have a stellium going on. We have four planets in Aquarius, uh, you know, for most of the day. So it should be a day of opening up, you know, getting outside the box. With the Four of Cups here, and it came through straight up, I would say be careful of missing any opportunities. Be very careful to not be apathetic and like just watch TV all day because there's something big that can come through today, uh, you know, creative-wise. And then with the sun, even if it takes all day, maybe you do have your morning to, this, to yourself and you do nothing. <laughs> you know, somebody's offering something here, and maybe you just want to watch TV because your cups are full. You know, you can see these all right here at the um, on the the ledge there. See that ledge? Yeah, three full cups, and four might just put you over the edge. I get that, and then maybe. Maybe there was a little too much partying going on Friday night and this, you know, in the morning you're like, no, no get it away from me. <laughs> There's that possibility. The cups can be, you know, too much, and especially because it's moon and cancer, right? It can be, uh, e even though the moon's in Aquarius today, this card is about the moon in cancer, and that can be too much food. It can be over being just done, overdone. So, yeah, just go with whatever it is for you. We all live and learn, uh, and we make adjustments, right? But with this, the moon, I'm sorry, the sun moving into Pisces, it's a new beginning, usually, but there is no beginning and there is no end. We just, it's a lot of transitions. But we also have the death card coming through reversed. So that brings in maybe feeling kind of stuck or maybe just holding on because we're afraid of change and on another level it's repeating mistakes so sometimes and especially with this combination here with the four of cups it could be it's just oh man we keep doing it like we we keep eating the wrong things and then learning the hard way uh, that's definitely been my thing this last month I, I've been eliminating so many different things out of my diet but I didn't want to let go of my coffee, <laughs> right? And it turns out that that was the thing. So, so once I figured that out, once I finally got that guidance, I, I realized, oh, who knew, right? Because, I mean, I was drinking it decaf. I was drinking weak decaf. I, I mean, I've, I've scaled down and down and down and down and down over the months to the point where it's just ridiculous. And then still realizing, oh, I just, there's something in the caffeine, in the coffee that I can't, I can't tolerate anymore. So I had to give it up. But this is what I went through back here, right? With those two cards. <laughs> and then the King of Swords, ooh, we have a brand new strategy. Now in this deck, you can see that it's someone who's really good at cutting hair. Uh, <laughs> you know, I guess we have the blow dryer here and a bunch of other stuff going on. But... The, the swords are often, you know, cutting tools or writing instruments. So, <laughs> the king of swords, though, is getting that bigger vision. It's having clarity. It is 
a powerful place of truth and in usually being in integrity. So whatever it is for you, just maybe this is the place to start is to try and get that big vision because you're and maybe it's eliminating excuse me hold on <coughs> you can see he's you know he or she is uh, cutting hair and um hold on i need to get some water a second oh that's better okay so with the cutting the hair there we're eliminating whatever and this goes with the the um death reversed, we are eliminating what doesn't work, what doesn't bring in new life. You know, uh, with the Four of Cups, there's an emotional wanting to hold on to what we have, and it keeps us from noticing the new things that are coming in and being offered to, to us. You know, you can see there's, there's either a guide or an angel or a loved one right there handing you something, and you're not noticing it. For some reason or another and maybe maybe it's maybe we're not supposed to notice it because maybe we're supposed to be uh, meditating or in self-reflection but in this picture they're not they're watching TV and the death card reversed also brings in that you know feeling stuck feeling stuck both of these cards are stagnation here and to get to the clear place the question is what do we need to eliminate you know, what do we need to cut off, right? Like, it's, you know, when you cut your hair, you're cutting off some of your uh, past, right? Uh, what is it that you need to do in order to get to the place where you have more power coming through? And it might just be some old attitudes, right? I mean, attitudes are everything, and with all of this energy, all of this planetary energy, like right now, I, I keep saying, you know, there, um, the um, all the planets are direct. There's no retrogrades. And with the moon and Mercury and Saturn and today the sun up until, you know, 2.30 Pacific time, 2.35 actually Pacific time, the, even the sun is in Aquarius. It's an air sign. Aquarius is an air sign. So having this stellium in Aquarius, and the King of Swords here rules all the air signs. So what is it that you need to do to open up? Because Aquarius wants you to see a different perspective. Wants you to uh, let yourself out of the box, basically. <laughs> right? Think in broader terms. And what would it take for you to be free, for you to feel totally free and focused on the future rather than staying stuck in the past because you're afraid of change? So allow yourself to have some change for the day might be it. And, and you know what? Maybe it is getting a haircut. Maybe it is just going out for a walk. Uh, maybe it's turning the TV off and going inside and seeing what you're afraid to, um, to open up to right? Because it can be scary. It, it's a scary thing to, to try new... It, it can be scary to try new things is basically what I want to say. But you know what? You feel the fear and you do it anyway, <laughs> right? The fear can be a little bit... Uh, well, I don't know if it's exciting, but it's in that same... It's in that same... You know, once you start going... As long as it's not like crazy, stupid stuff. I mean, like, I'm never going to be skydiving or bungee jumping. That's not happening. But other people love it. <laughs> other people have done it and said, it was the best thing I ever did. So who am I to judge, right? We can only judge what's right for us. Uh, and who knows, right? So... Yeah, I think I should just stop talking. Let you guys figure it out, whatever it is for you. But you're going to have to go inside to get it, whatever it is. And then the clear place will come through. The clarity will come. Your your truth and your your inner truth and your integrity will come through for you. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know how you're doing. <laughs> Take good care, you guys. Bye.